Disclaimer. This video may contain sensitive topics about identity, so viewer discretion is advised. What makes you, you? While some may have an answer ready, a majority will feel conflicted or feel that you've stumbled upon a question with no clear answer. Even though only you know yourself the best, the question about identity is hard to unveil or even discover. It's not uncommon for people to not know who they truly are throughout their lifetime. Bloom Into You, also known as Yagate Kimi Ni Naru, is a 13-episode Japanese film about two girls who struggle to find their true self. Although the anime is categorized under the shoujo AI genre, Bloom Into You is not simply about romance, but rather a love story about self-realization. The show begins with Yu Koito, who is a first year in high school. As a young girl, Yu dreamed of falling in love like the protagonists from her books and films that she loved to read and watch. Expecting her romance experience to be like the love stories from movies, Yu was expecting to be swept off her feet on the day she falls in love, but that day never come. Due to her inability to understand her own feelings and love in general, she becomes disconnected with her peers as Yu's understanding of her own feelings became far unknown in in comparison to her friend. Yu's desire and expectation for love is unclear, which is a primary reason as to why she is unable to share her feelings with any of her friends. Constantly fighting through her loneliness, she meets a second year senpai named Toko Nanami, a girl who has never experienced love until she met Yu. As Toko's heart begins to rapidly beat, she unexpectedly confesses her feelings to Yu, leaving Yu in utter surprise. Bloom Into You also tackles the ideals of same-gender relationships. Throughout the anime, it is shown that Yu and her family finds same-gender relationships to be abnormal, as Yu's father comments a displeasing statement when Yu's sister joked about Yu dating women rather than men. Initially, Yu also finds it weird and unacceptable within society for a girl to date another girl, but later begins to accept that Toko Toko's feelings are genuine and that she should not hurt her, but rather support Toko. Toko is a girl who everyone absolutely admires due to her constant show of perfection. Ranging from being the smartest student in her grade to becoming the student council president, Toko at first glance may seem like a living goddess. However, it is later discovered that she was not always like that. As a young girl, Toko was extremely shy, antisocial, and very negative. However, after losing her sister, who to Toko was an absolutely perfect human figure to an unexpected accident, Toko decides to stop being her sibling's shadow, but rather decides to become her sister who everyone loved. During this process, Toko gives up on her own authentic self. By doing so, she puts on a mask to be someone else who she clearly isn't. Although Yu and Toko both understand that they each are displaying a different identity to the different people within their community, and as much as the two may seem similar, they are actually different. Unlike Yu, Toko has a clear motive and purpose to strive for every day, and later learns her own motive for love. However, Yu constantly stumbles upon her own feelings of care, love, and sincerity. She is not sure what kind of feeling is being felt during each moment that she encounters with their friends, family, and Toko. As the two experience more and more time with each other, you and Toko start to commence changes by being with each other. Yu slowly begins to learn the compatibility of her own feelings and what certain feelings are, while Toko fights and struggles to understand her own purpose in life. As ironic as it sounds, Understanding yourself is not always easy. It's true that you are the only one who knows yourself the best, but when it comes to comprehending whether what you're thinking is right or not, the morality of the truth may never be identified. One of the most complicated things to understand are feelings human feelings. Different types of feelings can be described in many words, but describing how you feel does not necessarily always mean the same thing to others. Yu does not understand the feeling of love and constantly fumbles over whether she is feeling what others describe as love when she's with Toko, but her friends seem to understand love in their own way. A majority of her friends seem to not be as bothered as Yu when it comes to understanding their love their heart, and their motive. This complication is well emphasized within the morality of feeling. Feelings are unique to each and every individual. Understanding how you feel can be difficult and hard to describe, and it is completely okay to remain that way. The important thing about understanding how you feel is to not give up trying to understand yourself. It may require a lot of time and dedication, but the effort in realizing your feelings will eventually come to a satisfying closure on your behalf. 
On top of the conflict between authentic and inauthentic feelings, identity crisis also remains to be a problem. Having a purpose in life can be clear and vivid for some, but being lost in where you are and where you stand and how you should live in society is also very common. After having to change your behaviors and living habits to meet the expectations of her perfect sister, Toko sets her ideal purpose in life to replace her sister that everyone beloved. Because Toko thought that her life was unnecessary and not as important as her own sibling, she decided to throw away her real identity. She decided to ultimately wear a mask to hide her own true self, while putting on an act to the others as a disguise to satisfy the people and the community around her. Toko does not wear a single mask. She puts on a different mask per interaction with her peers as if she had many different personalities. However, when Toko is told the news by one of her sister's pre previous peers that her sister was not the perfect sister that she's been looking up to, Toko is put into a state of mental shock. For all this time, Toko tried to be exactly like her sister, yet the words, you're not like your sister at all, broke her heart into pieces. It was as if she had suddenly lost all her purpose in life. Without having the subtle goal to be like her sister, Toko begins to question her own identity and wonders what her purpose in life is. When Yu realizes the conflict that Toko is going through, she decides to help Toko by encouraging her to not put on an act, but rather living a life full of authenticness and living up to her true self. While this comes out of shock and denial at first, Toko later realizes that she might actually find herself with a new purpose by taking on Yu's advice, and by doing so, there comes a slight chance that her identity crisis may finally be resolved. I personally have not really touched on the shoujo AI genre that much previous to Blooming to You, but it definitely comes out of surprise about how the common struggles of society are morally visualized throughout the anime. This film not only demonstrates the judgmental state of our society, but also depicts internal conflicts that are not commonly talked about or openly talked about. Feelings are difficult to deal with, especially when it comes to understanding it. Because of this difficulty, people don't often share how they feel or the struggles they are going through with how they feel. Because others wouldn't even understand, even if they tried. Identity crisis is also very frequently fought independently, and the struggle isn't too often communicated with others. Yet Bloom Into You puts the internal conflict into perspective for people to witness and see how painful it must be going through all the pressure and stress by oneself. Moreover, Bloom Into You does a great job showing how individuals feel during specific moments of conflict. This shows different perspectives in the moment a conflict is highlighted, and it gives the audience a moment to really understand what's going on onto the in-depth perspective. Although my summary may seem confusing, the most important thing that I wish that all you have taken away from this video is this. You are the only one in this world who knows yourself the best. So to be you, just be you. That's right. It might sound cliche, well, in fact, I know it is. But the truth can't be hidden. Rather than always putting on a show in order to avoid people's judgment, try to, in a manner, ignore the judgments because at the end of the day, what matters is that you're happy and that you did exactly what made you happy. Putting on different masks all the time can be found useful in life because that might be the pure reason why you are popular or trendy, but it also hurts to see you poison your own heart and identity by covering the true you. Bloom Into You is encouraging people to change. Staying the way you are may be great at times, but it also hides the potential to make your life even better. Although your life can't always be happy or at its best state, you can strive to work harder and to make it somewhat better, even if it's just a little bit. And with that change and understanding that only you know yourself the best, you now know that you are special and that you are the only one that makes you, you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more. Otherwise, take care and know that you're loved and cared for.